Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. What a day today. Temperatures climbing into the mid 80s. That's just the, basically the high temperatures you would find in the middle of May, but we're finding them here uh, in February and it's been just as beautiful down in parts of Colleen. Let's take you down live right now. You can see uh, traffic flowing smoothly for the most part. Our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker. It is on the rooftop of one coin center. Current temperature 82 degrees. Wind has been out of the north and northwest at 14 miles per hour. That shows the front has moved through the area, but look at our dew point temperature. 29 degrees. Again, the air temperature is 82. The dew point is 29. The air is extremely dry. That's why when this front moved through, we didn't have a cloud. We didn't have any rain. We didn't have anything but a, just a wind shift. That is about it. It is 80 degrees at this hour here in Mahia. It is 82 in Hearn as well as Cameron. 78 in Waco. Clear skies in Brownwood. Current temperature at 72 degrees. The wind has changed to the northwest in a lot of places here. Quite a few areas. Eight mile per hour winds there out of the northwest in Mahia. Nine in Cameron, but you can see right along the front there, we still have that south to southwest wind. It's pretty light in College Station at seven miles per hour. It's Thursday, and you know what that means? The latest and the greatest drought monitor comes out. Still quiet conditions, Waco, and right along I-35, basically, and back into the Brazos Valley, but dry conditions are starting to sneak up here. We haven't had rainfall here for a little while. The farther southwest you go, you can see we can run into some uh, severe drought uh, down in that region, but nothing happening on our satellite and radar. The closest is some showers and storms in the northern part there of Arkansas, maybe toward the boot hill of Missouri, that's mainly about it. We're still dominated by high pressure, even though we had that cold front move through. There's the front on our forecast. 7 o'clock this evening. Front continues to slide down to the south of us. Behind it, not much going on. Clear skies, quiet weather at midnight, and then by tomorrow morning, you'll be waking up to the 40s and lower 50s across the board. As we go throughout the morning, mostly sunny skies, temperatures climbing into the 60s, and then we'll see lower 70s show up there by the afternoon. Looks great for your Friday night, so if you have plans or you're heading out on the big town Friday night, no need to worry. We've got some great weather expected. A few high clouds to the south of us late Friday, but by early on Saturday, quiet weather. Temperatures in the 40s to start as we go throughout the day on Saturday. More of a southerly wind comes in on the back of that high, and that will allow those temperatures to climb into the mid, maybe a few uh, upper 70s here for the afternoon on Saturday. So Saturday is shaping up to be a beautiful start to the weekend, and it looks beautiful too on Sunday. So tonight's forecast, mostly clear skies, will drop to 50, and then tomorrow, take a look, 72 the high under mostly sunny skies. Here's the long-range 10-day forecast brought to you by the Alliance Electrical Group. We are talking temperatures well above normal, and look at that. I'm going to go 87 for the high on Monday. The record is around 90 degrees, so we may be very, very close to tying a record on Monday. And then slightly cooler weather front moves through on Wednesday, but drops us to temperatures around 70 degrees or so, 73. A little bit cooler by Thursday and Friday, and temperatures for nighttime lows will be in the 40s and 50s. Down toward Bryan and College Station, 71 degrees tomorrow, 75 on Saturday, 77 on Sunday. And temperatures, again, in the 80s there on Monday and Tuesday. Those nighttime lows will be in the 50s and 60s. I know 